just got this in. So this is the King Kong ET125, but mine's got a little bit of a problem, but I'm gonna show you how to fix it in case you have the same problem too. So here's the issue. As you can see, the problem is with the FPV video. Now the camera's fine. This issue with the horizontal lines that you're seeing all over the screen here comes from the video transmitter that's on the bottom of the quad. So I don't know what the exact problem is here, but I did notice that if I touch the video transmitter with my fingers, look at that, it cleans up. So by touching the video transmitter with my fingers in a specific spot, it would just clean up the video. So there's definitely some sort of grounding problem or I, I don't really know what the issue is. However, I did some research on it and this is the credit to figuring out this problem, MP1974 on RC Groups. He's the one who discovered this in the first place. And what he did to fix the problem was he wired a little jumper wire from one point on the video transmitter to another and it started working again. Now, I don't know how safe this fix is. Uh, I can only speak to my own experience. It works for me. I can fully resolve the problem. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. If you're in a jam, this is exactly how to get it done. So this is the pins we're talking about. We're gonna solder a jumper from here to this free little pad on the board from there to there. And uh, so to do that, I made a little loop, a little wire loop. You can make yours shorter than this. In fact, I'd recommend making it a little shorter than that, but it was easier for me to work with. I put this little card underneath the ET125 because I wanted to work with it while it was still in it without having to take it out. And you don't want solder to drip down inside the unit. That would just be terrible. So this is my solder and it's 6337 uh, tin lead with rosin rosin flux core, that's what you want to use for this. So uh, to start off, I tin the wire a little bit. I already put a little bit of uh, solder on the end of that wire. And I started with the pin against this, this chip here. That's pin, that's the first thing we're gonna do. And it went on pretty easily. I really didn't have that many problems doing this one. To see if you got a decent joint, you just pull on it. Now, I know it's not the prettiest solder in the world, but it got the job done for me. You know, soldering people are going to yell at me for this, but oh well. Uh, so this part was actually a little challenging. I couldn't get the pad to take the solder initially. I tried to fold the pad, and maybe it's not what I think it is. So instead, I just tinned the wire and got it to stick to the pad like that. And eventually I got a nice solid connection through the through the wiring just like that. So as you can see, yep, I pulled on it and it was working. Alright, so I mean this is what it should look like once you're all done. Uh, again, like I said, not the best siren job in the world, but it worked. It works works for me. I heat shrinked it. You're gonna need a pretty big heat shrink, because as you can see, you got that wire bulge there now. Right, so I connected it up. And after that, it was working. Look at it. It's all fixed though. Again, not the prettiest fix job in the world, but it's working just fine. Look at that. Clean, clean, clean video. No problem whatsoever. So I took it outside after that. And as you can see, this is, this is literally the flight after it. That video transmitter is super, super clean. I'm just sort of floating around the yard here. Back and forth. The ET125 is really, really cool. I, I, I think it's great. I'm sort of circling the obelisk here, and now I'm going outside and into the woods, wooded area behind here. And look at that, it's just really, really, overall extremely clean video. So I don't, again, I don't know how good this is of a fix. This really is a hack job, but it is working. It doesn't seem to have affected my, affected my video transmitter in a negative way. Uh, many other people have implemented this fix so far and it works. If you're in a jam and you want to get this fixed now, this is what you should do. In the meantime, while you wait for uh, a new King Kong video transmitter to arrive, and I put the link to that in the video description below. So that's it, that is how you fix this. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, again, uh, this fixed the problem for me. I hope it fixes the problem for you if you have it. It's a pretty rare issue. Here's a picture of it again, just a nice still image so you can see what I did. 
And uh, hopefully, if you have this problem, you'll be able to fix it too. Let, again, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And uh, as always, have a great day, guys.